So in the last lecture, we made sure that we had upgraded to at least AngularJS 1.5. And that's because AngularJS 1.5 introduced this feature called components. And components are like directives in AngularJS, much, much more simplified directives in AngularJS, directives specifically which have some HTML. Now, the reason they were introduced in AngularJS 1.5 was because in Angular, in modern Angular, we build almost everything with this concept called a component. So rewriting our AngularJS controllers and directives as AngularJS components make it much, much easier when we want to migrate to Angular components in the future. So that's what we're going to do in this lecture. We're going to componentify our AngularJS application, which specifically means we're going to convert our controllers and our directors, our directors which have some templates, so only directors with templates can turn into components. We're going to convert both of those into components, into AngularJS components. So to begin with, let's create a folder called components. And the first component I want to convert is a directive, is our card directive. In fact, I'm just going to drag it over to our components folder there. And then let's rename it from card directive to card component. Now let's make sure I've opened it up. Yep, we're all looking good here. Now a component in AngularJS is defined by a component definition object, which is literally just an object. So we're going to create one at the top. I'm going to call it let card component. And I'm going to just make it equal to an empty object for now. Now a card component, uh, a component definition object is going to have a couple of different properties. The first one is selector. And the selector is going to be the same as our uh, directive uh, selector here. So here it's CC card. So we're just going to use the same thing here. And this is going to translate to the HTML tag, which it's going to map to. Now CC card is going to be the same rule as directive. CC card is going to map to any tag, which is tagged as CC card, like so. So the next thing we want to have is our template. Now you can refer to the template URL the same way we're referring it in our directive here, but I actually much prefer inlining our templates just for the process of migration. I find it makes it just a lot easier to deal with everything in one file. So I'm going to use the backtick operator here, which let's, let's just use multi-line strings. I'm just going to embed in our template code here. I'm going to copy it from our template file here. So I'm just grab that whole file, copy it, and I'm just going to paste it in here. Okay, let me just close that out for now. And the next property I'm going to add is one called bindings. Now this actually has pretty much exactly the same syntax as our scope property in our directive. So I'm just going to add that in. So we're just taking in the user here. And again, we have another property called controller which is very similar to our controller property in our directive, but we're going to implement it a little bit differently. We're now going to use the new class keyword, the new class keyword, which lets us define a class in well, both TypeScript and ES6 JavaScript. Now, again, if you want to understand what a lot of these terms are with these TypeScript terms and, and terms like class, go to my website, codecraft.tv, go to my Angular course, visit section two where I cover in detail what class is and how to use it. Now, the really key thing to understand about class in ES6 JavaScript and TypeScript is that it's actually the same as a function. It's, it's called a, it creates what's called a constructor function underneath it all. So you can wear it here, you could use a, a function. You can actually here, again, just use a class. So it makes it easier for structuring your code, but also when we later on migrate this to a proper Angular component, having a class here as your controller will make that migration step much, much easier. So I recommend at this step, start using classes. And I'm going to show you, it's actually really, really easy to use these classes. So I'm going to call mine card controller. 
and I'm going to give it some properties. So if you look here, this one had a property called is deleting, had something called perhaps a user like this. And maybe I had, yes, the contact service as well as SAR. So I'm going to add those as properties, as private properties to this class. So I'm going to add a private contact service. Paste that in so I don't get any spelling mistakes. Private is deleting and private user object there. I'm going to add a constructor. And this is going to take as a property, as a parameter, the contact service. And I'm going to store that on my contact service, my local contact service. This is just so I have a reference to it later on. And I'm also going to set is deleting to false. And then I'm going to add a user call or the function called delete user. I'm going to set is deleting to true. This is so we can have those nice indicators on the front end. And then the same as I was using here, I was using contact service, remove contact, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to do the same thing here, but I'm going to use my reference to my contact service. So it's going to be this dot contact service dot remove contact. I'm going to pass in the user object. Then, and I'm now also going to start using some ES6 syntax for functions, which is this uh, arrow function syntax here. And then once that's deleted and it's returned, I'm going to do this dot is deleting is equal to false. So you can see, see here in my old uh, directive, I had pretty much just one function called delete user. And if the user called that function, it would then remove the contact. And during that process, it would set a flag called is deleting to true or false accordingly. And we're doing the same thing with our card controller is that we are uh, calling is deleting. Um, and uh, we've got a function called delete user and we're calling remove contact in the contact service uh, when the person calls that function. This is syntactically equivalent to this, but just something because now we're using ESS classes. This makes it easier to later on move towards an, an Angular component class in the future. And now we don't actually need this anymore. We can just remove that. And then this whole thing is just our bindings and our controller here. So now what we want to do is we still need to use Angular modules and we'll still need to basically define this as an Angular component. So same as before, Angular, and then we were doing dot module and it was called CodeCraft. And then in that module, I'm creating a component now, not a controller or directive component. And then we can do a few things. You can do, we basically need to provide the selector as the first property, but we've already got that as a property on our card components. So let's just reuse that. And then the next thing we want to provide is actually just our definition object there. So that's what we've done. So now I've converted the directive into a card component. We've inlined the template code and we've added the bindings and I've added a controller. Now, one other thing we need to deal with is that in the template code, we need to make a few changes. And that's because previously it, my code, at least my old angular JS code was not using something called a controller as syntax. Okay, with the controller as syntax to call to refer to anything on our controller, any variables or any functions on our controller, it was just implied that anything you you called was just something called on your controller. Now with the controller as syntax, you have to explicitly request functions and properties on a controller with the dollar sign control keyword. So for instance, if I go to the top here, you can see here I'm referring to the user dot photo, the user being the user in my card controller. And just an FYI, how is this user getting set? It's actually getting set via a binding. So when we use this card in the template code, so let me show you the template code itself. So it'll be in the list template code here. It'll be something, yeah, here we go. So we'll be using it as CC card. We're gonna do a repeat. And then we're passing in the person as the user object. And so that is what this user object is set to. And so to refer to that user object in the template, we now need to do CTRL. Okay, because we're using controller as we're being much more explicit now in our AngularJS application. Because we're using a component, we're being much more explicit as to uh, what specific variable that we're using from the controller. 
So we need to do it again in a couple more places. So the username again here, we're going to use control the username, user.sex, we're using it there. And then user.city, user.country, uh, user.email, the birth date. And in this email function here, it's again control user.email. And then at the very bottom here, so we're using the is deleting variable, and that's not control is deleting. And you click uh, the function is now control delete user. So I think that's all we need to do for this component to convert it to a an AngularJS component now.